sometimes you end up with a whole bunch of files that you're editing at the same time, and it's kind of tough to keep track of them all. Now, later on in another tutorial, I'm going to show you an easy method for keeping different versions of audio files so that you know that you're always working with the most current version. But if you ever get stuck and you think, gosh, I'm not sure if this file and this file are identical or not, what you can do is use the audio file comparator to make that determination for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pre-mastered song and I'm going to save an exact duplicate of it with a different name just for this example. So I'm going to go under the file pull down menu, select save as or just type shift s and I'm going to save this song or this file as the A version. So this is mix revision 10 and then I'm just going to put an A at the end and then I'm going to press save. So I didn't actually do any edits to the file. So the R10 version and the R10A version are identical. So let's load that original version by going to the open command and just opening the original version so that both of those files are loaded into the audio file workspace simultaneously. And then I can go under the analysis pull down menu and select file comparator, which I think is a funny name. But now I can choose which files to compare. So I'm going to choose the R10 version and the R10A version, which I know are identical, but let's just have the audio file comparator go through and do its magic. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to create markers at the points of difference, but it's not going to find any. So I'm going to click OK and I get a box that affirms that yes, these two files are identical. But what if they weren't? And to what degree do they need to be different from one another to be analyzed as actually different? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the A version and I'm going to zoom in at around the four minute mark. Well, let's see. Let's do it at around the one minute mark. I'm going to zoom way down. I'm going to click and drag on that timeline way, way, way down until I actually see the sample level of this audio file. And I am going to grab my pencil tool and I'm going to make a one bit difference to the left channel. I'm just going to quickly drag a one bit difference right there on the file. And then I'm going to zoom back up again. And remember that that's around the one minute mark. And then I'm going to save this file as the B version. So shift S and I'm going to save this as the B version. And now what I'm going to do is use the file comparator to compare the B version to the original. So I'm going to go to analysis, file comparator. I'm going to choose the R10 version and the R10B version. And it's the B version to which I made that little one bit adjustment. And then if I wanted to, I could create a delta file. Now a delta file is going to be the difference file between the one and the other. So you end up with a third file that contains all the differences. And that's nice if you want to hear what the differences were. But for this example, I'm not going to use a Delta file. Instead, what I'm going to do is have it create markers. These will be temporary markers in both the first file and the second file. And just so you know, if you are creating a Delta or difference file, you could add those temporary markers to the Delta file as well. But then when I click OK, let's see if it analyzes both files down to that single bit difference that I introduced into the B version. So I click on OK and it says, hmm, the two files are different. There's one difference that has been found and one marker has been created. So I'm going to click on OK and you'll notice that right at that one minute mark, which is where I made that one bit difference on the left hand channel, it's put a temporary marker. And if we zoom right down on that marker, there it is. There's the single bit difference. So the audio file comparator is a great tool to use for keeping the consistency between two files and ensuring that two files are either identical or that they have differences between the two. And now let's move on to creating a 3D analysis.